Welcome to the series Writing for Games. In this video, I'm going to review what is dialogue. In a very formal sense, the word dialogue has its roots in ancient Greek, meaning through and speech. We communicate. We have a conversation. We are transferring information through speech. Placed in a performance sense, plays and musicals, the concept takes on a secondary usage, explanation. While characters discuss things, have a conversation, dialogue, on a stage, they are also explaining things to an audience. They are giving the audience clues to help understand the story happening on the stage. When we shift that into games, we have two audiences. Characters who are having the conversation and the players. In fact, generally, the second audience mentioned the players is generally more important than the characters themselves. The characters might be having a conversation or appearing to have a conversation, but the dialogue, the primary goal, is to convey data not between characters, but between the developers and the players, writers and their audience. Games, though, have a unique influence on the use of dialogue. We'll often see things like this. Games have a unique influence on the use of dialogue. The reason for this is both complex and simple. People really do not like reading large chunks of text on a screen at a time. They really don't like it. At the same time, multiple sentences can really fit on the screen. This means there's both a psychological, people don't like doing things, and a technical, it simply won't fit, limit on dialogue and games. We often simply call this the dialogue box. It is very common in many video games, to present information, dialogue between characters, as within a box. Generally, it's literally a box on the screen, but sometimes it's also a position within the screen. Let me show you some examples of what I mean. The visual novel genre most clearly embraces this. They have a literal box, nearly all of them, that has the dialogue the characters are speaking on the screen at the time. You'll also notice, if you play visual novels, that they often speak in short sentences. It's like, hey, you, can you see us? And so we have a presentation of dialogue boxes. In fact, we often see this in role-playing games, and especially in games like the Persona series, which draw heavily from visual novels, which generally predate them. And so we see the exact same approach. In the previous example, we have a character on the screen and the text they are speaking. We have a character on the screen and the text they are speaking. Notice at the same time that the text is not very long. Sure, this is the psychological and technical limitation in play. We are presenting at max generally about 25 to 30 words, often significantly less, handful of words. And this also applies to many other types of games. Prince of Persia, or Lost Crown, from this year, 2024, has the exact same setup as the Persona game and Visual Novel, all of which are years apart, but have the exact same pattern. So in future videos, we're going to examine narration, barks and grunts, interactive, and ambient. All of these are different forms of dialogue. But remember, in games, they're not just a conversation between characters. They're also a conversation between the writers or developers and the player audience. So we're going to talk about how these dual audiences play into these different forms and how we construct them and how they fit within the dialogue box. Any dialogue we write has to exist within this box idea. That is, it has to be contained psychologically and technically within 25 to 30 words maximum, generally a lot less. So we'll talk about how we can convey information in different forms, how these forms can play together across future videos. But at least for this video, we're introducing the idea of dialogue, serving two audiences, both characters, people having a conversation, and the audience watching them, the players in the sense of a video game. But we'll talk about those in future videos of this series. Thanks for watching.